Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sydney. For those of you who have not seen any of my other videos or you're new to here, welcome and thank you for watching. Now the other day, you know, I just washed my hair and I, you know, put my hair up in a pineapple and I was taking pictures, you know, and then I was looking through my pictures and I just cut layers in my hair in August, I believe like August 31st, because it was right around my birthday. And my pineapple came to about right here, you know, and then now it's at my chin. And I was like, hold on, like, it's only been, you know, a couple months. How did I do that? So I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to healthy hair growth. Tip number one, natural hair products. You guys, I cannot stress this enough because... You know, when I was in middle school, there wasn't any natural hair products. I literally used to use Tresemme, uh, Mousse, Flawless Curls, and Aussie to wash my hair. I didn't deep condition. I didn't know any of that. I would straighten my hair, everything like that. Now, I use all natural products. You know, I keep a regimen. I have a satin pillowcase. I use a turvy twist instead of a towel. Just so many different things that you can do for your hair and natural. It, think of it, you know, when you eat food, yes, natural hair products cost more than the other stuff. Fast food versus fruit and vegetables. There you go. With natural hair products, it's better for you. So that's what you need to get. Yes, the shampoo may be $10, but it's better than this one that's $3 because the ingredients it has in it. I was using Aussie and Tresemme to wash my hair, you know, that has sulfate, and I was probably washing my hair every other day. I don't think I washed it every day, but, you know, every other day, I didn't keep it up at night. I slept on a cotton uh, pillowcase and everything like that, and now I see what I've been doing has been working. Tip number two, you need to trim your hair, you guys. I cannot stress this enough because literally trims you have to get trims if you do not trim your hair i mean it's just going to be dead like people come in i'm a licensed cosmetologist i cut hair all the time that's what ends will be up to here i'm like well how long you know has it been since you oh a year and they're complaining about getting it all cut off well i mean because you waited a year so if you're more consistent with your trims you won't have to cut as much off so i would like to trim my hair um every three months now i used to back in the day you know i hated getting my hair trimmed i would get you know once a year i was that type of person um because they'd either straighten it or cut it wet to cut my hair and so every time i got cuts you know it would be up here when they just cut off this much so i never liked getting my hair cut because no one knew how to do my hair and i just could not and i wanted long hair you know but I see that getting cuts has really helped my hair get thicker and grow. And I will also post pictures of that because my hair used to be really stringy. And that's when I thought it was, you know, so good. No, like it was stringy. The ends were straight. And I've never really had like heat damage, but I think just the products um, that I was using was not good for my hair. Also, number three, you have to drink water. I mean, your hair is like a plant. If you don't water the plant, it's not going to grow. Same with your hair. Now, I'm not one to, like, you know, drink the huge gallons of water. No, I just have my cup. I believe it's 32 ounces, and I just try to drink two of those a day. Um, I still drink coffee, and, like, I drink lemonade and tea. But I really don't drink soda and also, like, eating, I mean, I'm not the cleanest eater, but I don't sit here and eat eat out, you know, fast food every day. Like, I always try to pack my lunch or eat an apple if I want chocolate, you know, something like that. But I'm not saying don't eat sweets and, you know, fast food, but try to limit it because your hair, that can affect it really bad. So, tip number four, stay away from heat. I have so many people come to me with heat damage and it's not worth it. Curls are unique. Not everyone has curls. P 
people pay to have hair like us, okay? If you straighten it, I mean, first off, I hadn't straightened my hair in four years. And everyone's like, oh my God, straighten it, oh my God, straighten it. You didn't straighten it, it's been so long. You guys, I don't even like my hair straight. It's flat, I can't do anything with it. My bun's all floppy, no. I like the big curly bun. It's more versatile when I have my natural hair. You know, and I just straightened it last year in November, so it's almost a year. And um, I kept it for two days. And it took two hours, but I just did not like it at all. I was just like, this isn't me. It's been four years, you know. But, you know, when I was in high school, people would say, oh, I like your straight hair better. Okay, like, whatever. I like my curls, you know, but you need to stay away from heat. The only time... Okay, when I diffuse, now I I use the cool setting. I don't use the heat setting. Here and there, I'll like switch it up. If I need to go somewhere like that, you know, I'll keep it on warm. But usually I just do cool. And that will not give me any heat damage at all. And lastly, tip number five, scalp massages. You guys, I literally just started doing scalp massages like maybe eight months ago and my hair like it's it's amazing i use lavender essential oil and you can get that i believe target has some i know lucky's market and whole foods everything like that and then i was using jojoba oil but i'm out now so i switched to sweet almond oil but those are two oils that are a little lighter um because i usually do my scalp massages every night and sometimes every morning but you don't want to use a heavy oil because then that will build up on your scalp, you know, the next day. If I use my lavender and my jojoba oil, you know, three drops of each, massage, pineapple, go to bed, wake up, it's soaked in. You can't see it the next day. I mean, it's fine. But that's really helped. And actually, essential oils have a lot of benefits. Now, I know lavender is calming. So if you deal with scalp irritation or even like in your body, if you're just so stressed out, you guys, if you just breathe in some lavender essential oil, you'll be all calm and relaxed. Like it has benefits for your body and your hair. And also I use that on my skin because it like my cheeks get red sometimes. So I'll just take, you know, my lavender and it really helps with my skin as well. So it has a lot of benefits, and it is a little pricey. It's about eight dollars for like a bottle, literally this big. But if you only, if you're only using, you know, a few drops, you should be fine. Like if you're on a budget, and you don't have to do this every day like I do. This is just what I do, and I will be posting pictures. Now, I okay. Look, I have these. I have these hair skin nail gummies. But I am not consistent with using them. So I can't really say if hair vitamins have helped my hair grow or not because, you know, you're supposed to take vitamins with a meal. And I would, you know, wake up, get dressed, and go eat. And then I'll come back in my room and I'm like, oh, I forgot to take my hair vitamins. Oh, I'll take them tomorrow. Tomorrow comes. Oh, I forgot. I'll take them tomorrow. You know, so it's just that cons it's not. I'm not consistent with it. Um, there are probably people who are consistent and they see results, but I wouldn't count on the vitamins to make my hair grow because you can do other things naturally, and they are a little pricey. Um, I do want to try some other ones, but I would I would try to be consistent with those. But since I'm not with these, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, hair vitamins, you know, because I haven't, like, I'll go, like, two weeks and not take them. So, it's just whatever you want, but I hope this video helped you with your hair growth. And if you have any questions, please leave that down below, and I will get back to you shortly. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.